criticism is a good thing for the viewers. That's why we had more viewers. I think they were adding more flowers on the story, so it's still okay. You, how many people could be controlled by witchcraft? I mean, there were masses of warriors and ladies and children, and they all wanted to be Zulus. Would they all be controlled by witchcraft? I think it's just another story to sweeten the whole thing or try to add some bitterness into it. But as I said, that also makes a good viewing. To me, it was just history as we read it, although, as I told you before, that there had to be some things added to sweeten the whole thing for modern situation. But the history, three quarters of the whole story was true. What do you think the importance of, of the Peshawar and Zulu story is for people in South Africa today, especially like just the same young people? What, what, have, what, what have they got out of the retelling of the story of this historical? Apart from them enjoying it as, a, as history, I think uh, the black, you're talking about the black South Africans now. To them, it was just a thrill to see the thing on the movies because some of them had stories before about Shaka, but they, they didn't know the, the actual Shaka, what, what, what he was, what his intention was, what sort of a leader he was until they saw it on screen. And, you know, with the nowadays generation, they see it just as a story, which was an old story and it's, it has been renewed now, but still sticking to its old roots. Henry, when, when you were um, learning history in school, did you learn about Shaka, or did you learn about Shaka from the Zulu people? Was he found in, in the history books as a positive character, if he was found there at all? And if he wasn't, how did you come to learn of, of, of Shaka? Apart from learning the history at school, as I told you, it was a story that was passed from generation to generation. We used to hear uh, uh, my grandmother talking. I had a grandmother. I never had a father and a mother. And she used to tell me these stories about the leaders, but as Shaka being the builder of the nation. And when I went to school to learn the history, I knew some, you know, some of the truth about it. So it was something that, that was in me until I grew up and left school and forgot about the history. Because now and then, when there was examination, you had to come across this question, what was Shaka? Where was he born? Who was his mother? And things like that, you know, they kept on coming to you. So you just live with it because it's in you. So that is how I was able to portray the part of Shaka on the screen. 